programmers welcome back to coding bytes in today's video we will discuss how to sort a string in alphabetical order so by alphabetical order we mean let's consider a string called face prep so sorting this in alphabetical order would give us a c e E, F, P, P, R. So that's exactly what we mean by alphabetical order. So the characters of the string are supposed to start from A to Z. So the logic that we would use to uh, implement this particular program is pretty straightforward. Firstly, get an input from the user. And once you get an input, for now let us assume that the input is face prep itself. Find out the length of the input. And finally, compare every character in this given input with every other character in the string. So starting from F, for example, let's say F is the first letter. So F is being compared with A, C, E, P, R, E and finally P. So compare it with every other character and see if it is smaller than that character or uh, greater than that character. If you realize any other character is smaller than F, then immediately swap it. So compare and swap. So the logic also holds for all other characters. Then you go for A, compare it with all the remaining characters. Then you go for C, compare it with all of them and so on. So the first part of our algorithm was to uh, get an input from the user. So for which I would declare a string. Uh, I would name the string string itself. Uh, let's say it can store 50 characters. Um, now printf enter string. And I would use a gets to scan it. Gets of string. So that's how you declare the string. So the second step was to find the length of the string. And to find the length of the string, I would just use the inbuilt function. So let's say, uh, let's say uh, we, we will store the length of the string in a variable called n. Uh, you guys will have to declare the variable. Uh, n is equal to um, str len of string. So yeah, so we are done with two steps. So uh, the final step is to compare and swap the characters for which we would be using two for loops, the i loop and the j loop. Uh, you guys will have to declare i and j before, uh, before beginning. So I do so i loop that starts from 0 and it goes on till n because n is the length of the string and i plus plus and then we have a j loop that starts from let's say i starts from f right j is supposed to start from a right so uh, j is always one greater than i so j is equal to i plus one j less than n j plus plus so at any given point if string of i that is currently f is greater than string of j then we're supposed to swap the characters so uh, to do the swapping we would be using a temporary variable uh, you guys can declare it as uh, temp uh, I'm going to proceed like uh, like that. So, so temp, this temporary variable will be equal to string of i. So basically, let's say f. So when you compare f and a, obviously a is smaller, right? So at this point, this condition gets satisfied and it is ready to swap. So the temporary variable basically gets, to, I mean, uh, has the value f. So then 
string of i is equal to string of j so in the place of f we would be swapping y and finally string of j is equal to temp so in the place of y f gets stored so basically at the end of this iteration right the string becomes yf c e p r e p right um yeah so this is just one iteration that we wrote right similarly now uh, a will get compared with c e and so on so once the uh, once all the iterations are over we would just go ahead and print the string the string is uh, percentage s string so uh, so that's how you kind of sort a given string in alphabetical order guys so that's the pseudo code guys uh, if you want to check out the complete code in c or other languages like c++ java and python then feel free to check out the link in the description box of this video also one last thing that i would want to discuss with you guys is let's say uh, the input that you have is a combination of upper case and lower case letters right so uh, something like this um f a c e p r e p so we have uh, three lower case letters and the remaining upper case letters in such cases always the upper case letters would get sorted in alphabetical order and get printed first followed by the lower case letters like this like your output would be a c e f p e p and r so that's purely because uh, the ascii values of uh, upper case letters start from 65 and end at 90 whereas for lower case letters it starts from 97 and ends at 122 so obviously upper case letters uh, are considered to be um, uh, smaller ones when compared to lower case letters similarly if your input has a mix of uh, numbers and alphabets uh, like face prep 1 2 3 4 5 something like this always the numbers would get printed first followed by the alphabets so that's for this tutorial guys in case you have any doubts please feel free to post it in the comment section and we will answer it for you see you hey youtube how are you doing stay tuned to face prep for more awesome videos don't forget to subscribe